officers made a traffic stop on the corner of Platinum and Main uh, for a, a violation. Speaking with the individuals, our officers could smell uh, burnt marijuana in the vehicle. At that time, we asked for permission to search the vehicle that we were denied. So our officers, uh, uh, we called in the uh, canine handler, and he came to the scene with his uh, with his uh, dog, uh, his canine named Buster. Buster alerted on the vehicle twice uh, on the passenger on the driver's side. Uh, we then applied for a search warrant, uh, received a search warrant, and then proceeded to search the vehicle and did find marijuana in the area that uh, Buster alerted alerted on. So it worked out pretty well. So yeah, this is uh, you guys kind of. What was the the main reason you guys wanted to get this dog, Buster? Was for uh, drug bust and, and uh, for searching for people and also for drugs. And uh, hopefully we can uh, stem the use of uh, major narcotics coming through our area. Right. In this case, you just found marijuana, but it did. He did prove. He did prove that he, uh, he, you know, he's working well. We train. He, he's training every day. He trains every day. Our officer, they, they go out and train Buster two to three hours every day, and then uh, we were able to use him again. This was about eight o'clock last night, and uh, he came out, and uh, so far, he, you know, it's been good. This is his first time that we've been able to use him on. on so it well. Good, good, and um, and and I guess you hope to use them for more. So I mean, yeah, you, your assessment of how it, it worked out like it was supposed to. Be. It worked out exactly what is how it was supposed to work. Like he lit on the car on the driver's side, and that is, uh, is where the uh, the drugs were found. Does he basically just start barking when when he? Found no, he something? learns. He, he uh, uh, according to the description, what he does, he he, uh, he he will stick his nose, his tail will come come up, his ears will go back, and he'll stick his nose into the area. He feels the drugs around. So it's like a passive, non-aggressive alert. It's a passive uh, alert. Yeah. Oh, cool. He just uh, they, they can tell, and they, they with that information, tell. that's enough to get a warrant. That would be enough to get a, a warrant, uh, and then we have to have the county attorney uh, write the warrant up, then we'll bring it uh, before a judge to sign. Okay.